Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss a laptop buying guide for AutoCAD. Now, you have probably found out that finding a laptop for AutoCAD is quite confusing. As you must have read the post on Reddit and Quora claim that laptops with integrated graphics card will run AutoCAD just fine. And then you have a review sites and Autodesk telling you that you should buy only a laptop with workstation graphics card. Now, we have done all our research and we have discussed with different AutoCAD professionals as well and with their all the experience they have shared with us a complete buying guide about the laptop so stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Now before discussing the hardware specifications of the CPUs and GPUs for AutoCAD now first let's cover the what about the workstation laptops. Now workstation laptops are no different than regular laptops except for the GPU which is specially designed for AutoCAD software. That is true to some extent but for most people will not find workstation GPUs useful unless they are working with very realistic representations of objects of thousands of parts in LOD between 400 to 500 parts. I will explain this further in the video. Now let's discuss the gaming laptop versus regular laptop debate. Gaming laptops are powerful but you have to compromise on portability and battery life and regular laptop uses low TDP CPU whereas most of the la regular laptops do not have a dedicated GPU which is important for AutoCAD software. Now let's discuss the Mac versus Windows. Mac is favorite among AutoCAD professionals but I am not a big fan of Mac as they are not having a dedicated GPU and there is no upgradability options as well which is not ideal. However, the latest processes are quite powerful. You can use a Mac for 2D designs, but again, it is quite costly. Now the first is processor. The processor largely responsible for handling tasks like drawing, drafting, viewport, and at some extent rendering as well. So the drawing, drafting, and viewport uses a CPU's clock speed. So the higher the clock speed, better for you. Whereas rendering uses the cores, so you need a multiple cores as well in your laptop. So ideally six cores is good, but I would suggest higher the better. Now, although the CPU is responsible for handling viewport, but the addition of the dedicated GPU can massively improve the viewport performance on 3D objects. Now, about 90% of the CAD users should get a smooth viewport performance with 4GB VRAM. However, you can use 2GB, but I would recommend at least 4GB. Also, AutoCAD rendering requires a dedicated GPU because GPU has more cores than CPU. So if you have a dedicated GPU, it will speed up your rendering significantly. So basically, if you use a third party renders like 3D Max or Lumion, then you need a good dedicated graphics card that can handle rendering smoothly. Now what about RAM? Now the RAM mostly 8GB is enough for small models but I will suggest uh, to go with 16GB or you can, what you can do is go with 8GB RAM laptop but make sure your laptop has an upgradability option at least up to 16GB but I would recommend at least 32GB upgradability will be perfect. Now let's discuss the storage capacity of the laptop. Now let's hear two perspective about this to understand in detail. Now let's assume you have a 256GB SSD in your laptop and AutoCAD files only take up to 100 MB or at the largest it can go up to 4 GB. Now assuming you install only AutoCAD and Windows, 256 GB will be enough to save your, your files and data because you will have a 200 GB space left. Now let's see a second perspective as well. Now let's assume you have a 512 GB SSD. This is for those who wants to store a multiple CAD software or also wants to play game and they want to store games as well. Or if you work on a daily basis on AutoCAD, then you must have a 512 GB SSD. And this is for those as well who wants to store a large files on a regular basis. Now the display is personal preference but I would prefer 15 inch full HD resolution screen and also if you use laptop at your classrooms or outdoors then 300 nits brightness is a good addition to your laptop. Now you can see the system requirements according to your need. We have divided this into a three parts like small parts, medium parts and large parts. The 90% of the users will fall into a small parts like civil engineers, architects, mechanical engineers, especially the students can consider these system requirements. Now if you fall into a medium part then you must be working on a large files like mechanical objects. Whereas if you are a professional and you work with the company that design machinery for very large scale events or building on multiple sheets, you need at least 6GB VRAM with powerful processor as well. So guys these are some of the things you should consider while buying a laptop for AutoCAD i hope this video helped you to understand about this i will give all the links in the description you can choose according to your need so thank you so much for watching this video and if you need a one dedicated video with best laptop for autocad let me know in the comment box i will make the separate video as well so thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video